This is the 64th mm -hmm. anniversary yep. of the Declaration so of so Human fine. Rights. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's really important to let people know that we have worked on the budget for all and we're demanding that our government start following the Declaration of Human Rights, commemorating the uh, founding of this International Human Rights Day for a number of years now. And this year we thought to turn our attention toward our own country and the kind of uh, fallout from the uh, concentration of wealth that we're experiencing now. Uh, and so we're particularly advocating for uh, a sensible budget, the budget proposed by the Progressive Caucus. You know, we're, we're on the edge of this precipice, and I feel very vulnerable. And if I'm feeling vulnerable, I know everybody's feeling like there's people who are making decisions that are going to affect our lives that don't have the best intentions and aren't thinking about the rights, subsistence rights of others to work, to, to have a family, to have a home, a roof over one's head, and enough food and shelter. So that's why I'm here. I'm here because I'm concerned about the growing gap in wealth in the United States and um, the deficit is related to um, the slow eroding of taxes on corporations and the wealthy. That would be one factor. And other kinds of policies and the large amounts of spending on the military. And so money is being funneled um, away from lower income people and towards the top. And we need to reverse a lot of those policies, and a big part of that is the budget. There's a whole chunk of population in the United States that n doesn't have a chance. You know, they go to impoverished schools, they have impoverished parents who are working three jobs, or um, and they end up going to schools that um, are not giving them good educations. They end up dropping out of school and going into the prison system, which they're all businesses. The schools are businesses now, prisons are business. They don't have a chance to be um, productive. And people with low income are taxed way higher because their percent, their incomes are so little, you know, and they're paying taxes on everything they buy, sales tax, you know, ta you know every day they're pay they pay a high per percentage of their income when they get a tax of gasoline. I'm here for uh, protecting the social safety net. And all this discussion of uh, the cliff and all that, or the slope, whatever it is, we don't need to discuss Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid. That's, those uh, topics are off bounds. We should end the wars, cut the Pentagon budget, and everything will be just hunky-dory. Here to um, endorse the uh, budget for all and here if people want to balance the budget they can do it by getting out of Afghanistan and Iraq and cutting the military budget and we'll balance it that way and do some nation building here at home. There's nothing that makes more sense to proclaim on Human Rights Day than we need economic justice. Even if we go over the fiscal cliff or if we don't go over the fiscal cliff we have a military that's grossly inflated and it's completely a waste of money. Oh, because everyone should have human rights and particularly the workers should have human rights and they are forgotten. They're stepped on. They're kind of stepped into the ground and it's time for us to change that and to remember there is a budget for all, to remember there are people's rights and to remember that we have plenty of money if we just apportion it around. Economic justice is one of the major civil rights, you know, human rights issues that we have. I mean, there is a lot of economic injustice in this country, and we have to do something about it. I want, I want our, I want our, our commander in chief and all his cohorts to fund our communities and not war. And we're meeting. I want our tax dollars to come, come back to America and stop killing people to, to, while they're spending our, our tax dollars. I want, our, I want Medicare and I want Medicaid and I want Social Security to stay intact.
We can we can keep it that way by stopping war. I think she. I like the declaration because it's a model for how every human being should be treated, regardless of where you live. But this is the people who are opposed to the budget of the Congress, and they want to put in a new budget. They want one that would be justice for all, that would reduce poverty in this country, and create jobs for people, and housing, and school, and food.